Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another class on Verbling.com with teacher Abby. This morning we'll be talking about cocaine bananas. <laughs> Should be an interesting class. We'll read an article from a newspaper and we'll use vocabulary to be um, writing some sentences, practice our writing, okay? So let me welcome everybody. Hi, Ali. How are you? Hi, Abby. I am okay. How are you? Very good. Thanks for asking. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Your place is great looking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good to have you back, Ali, as always. Yes, but uh, I am not prepared anything. I didn't buy some cocaine for clothes. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. Me neither. So we'll just have to be calm and relaxed for today's class. <laughs> um, maybe. Okay. Let me say hello to David. Hi, David. How are you? I'm fine. I'm not enjoying the beach, but I'm enjoying of your company. So oh. it's okay. David, it brings me such joy to know that you've given up the beach, an hour of beach time to spend with me. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As Ali said, uh, you're in a lovely place. Uh, in a terrace or something, something like that. Yes, I'm on the balcony. I've been teaching from the balcony now for about a week. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful! But only a problem. There is a spider just I behind you. <laughs> <laughs> David, you know what Ali mm -hmm. did to me? Yes, yes, I can see it also, yes. With the red dot, did you see that? No. <laughs> you should check out my but Facebook I can see the page. Spider. Ali, I can see the Ali spider. was cruel. Ali was cruel <laughs> to me. What is my prize? <laughs> <laughs> one of these, one of these. <laughs> Hi, Sergio. Hi, teacher. How's it going? It's going okay. It's going okay. What about yourself? I am in the work now, for, now but I take uh, time for this class. Wonderful. Thank you for doing that. We're happy to have you here. Thank you, teacher. And Victor, welcome back to the class. Good to see you again. Hi, Abby. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Really nice to see you. How was your weekend? Uh, it was okay. Nothing I want special, I think. nothing special, not one special thing. Come on, Victor, it was <laughs> great. <laughs> we we played chess. You did again? <laughs> <laughs> Who wins? Who won? Yeah, that's a good question. Who won? Uh it's secret. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> so it was Victor is what you're saying. <laughs> yes, probably. <laughs> Yeah, Victor is very good uh, about chess. Man. Yeah, no, you guys are never going to play with me. No chess with me because I will lose and then you'll probably tell people on public broadcast that she's a terrible chess player. Can you play chess? <laughs> Actually, I can. I can. And I used to be really good. There was one point in my life when I was playing all the time and I started getting really good at it. But then I, I played with my friend in Mexico. Okay. And I realized that I'm terrible. <laughs> you ever had one one day we will try to play with you. Okay. You have you ever heard of teach us. Have you ever heard of uh, child math? Child what? Math. M A T. No. So or I don't know in English how would you say math? Um, Victor, help me. What is the math in English? I don't know, Michael. <laughs> no? But you're a chess player. Or I'm, not, I'm only a beginner. We, we oh, say math. Math, we say math. We also say math, yeah. Yeah, it's the same, math. M-A-T. I translated with Google, so... Uh, when when over. the game play finished, game over. Something like that. <laughs> yes, match? game over, yes. Math, no. yeah. Matt, M-A-T, M-A-T. I have no idea. Do you mean mate? Checkmate? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Check, checkmate, yeah. yeah. Checkmate. <laughs> so, no, and uh, what is child mate? 
child mate. Never heard of it. Or children mate. So, okay. I haven't heard of that one, Michael. By the way, oh. hi, Michael. Good morning. Yeah, hey, Abby. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. I'm glad that, um, who was it, Luciano, who told me I looked tired the other day? I'm glad he's not here because today I am tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He'd be like, Mommy Gaze. Mommy Gaze. Looked tired had, by what? By your face? I like? had. I had. He said I looked tired. Yeah, he goes, Teacher, you look tired. And I said, Never tell a woman she looks tired. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I had a really scary experience last night. I was sleeping. And in the middle of the night, this, the, the alarm for this, this house right here behind me, it started going off, like, bah, 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 bah. Okay. and I woke up, and I was like, what on earth is that sound? I thought maybe it was a car alarm. Uh -huh. So I got up, I went to the kitchen, I was looking out the window, and I realized that it was coming from this house right beside me. So I waited, and I'm like, oh my goodness, how am I ever going to sleep? Because it was so loud. Like It sounded like it was right in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the alarm stopped. It just stopped, and I was like, oh, I guess everything's okay. So I went back to bed. Well, as I'm laying in bed, I hear a sound like a, like that, like a thump. And I look out my window, and there's a man in my backyard looking out oh. the window. Okay. How, I, how old is he? How old I had, was he? could not see any details because it was pitch black. We had no lights on in the back, nothing. And I looked and I just froze, like absolutely froze. I was so scared. And then he walked closer to the house right under my window and I heard like a sound, like um, trying to open the door. I couldn't figure out what it was. And I didn't rem I couldn't remember, did I lock the door down there? Maybe I left it open. I couldn't remember. Okay. So I went out and I woke up my aunt and my uncle. They came out and they were looking around the yard and trying to to see if they could see anyone, but obviously he was gone. And because the alarm went off in the house, there the police came. So just as they went outside, the police pulled up. And of course they had to ask me a bunch of questions and I was in my pajamas with my hair like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad experience to have. It was, oh, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, they brought the dogs. The dogs were barking. So I didn't sleep a lot last night. So if I'm a little bit crazy today, this is why. <laughs> okay. Okay, I definitely re recommend you uh, sleep with the biggest knife uh, that you have in your house <laughs> <laughs> to be safe. David, I'll, nice probably roll, I'll probably roll over and stab myself. Then what? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's my super exciting story. You need some cocaine for uh, being awake. <laughs> yeah, but then that's I'll be... That's why you chose this class? <laughs> In the class the whole time. Are you on second floor now? Yes, but not high, not high. So you should sleep at second floor, I think. Well, yeah. that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, better for you. I mean, uh, there is no, there are not so many chances that someone would. Um, so too much to do. I mean, from first floor to go to first, second floor to open your door, to, too much things to do. So, but if you're on first floor, there are more possibility. Something anyway, it was not, it was not very good. It was very scary, and I couldn't get back to sleep after every sound I heard. I was like, <laughs> okay, I have another solution for you. Tell me, David. A donkey. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yes, uh, in w where I live, there is a, there are a lot of farms, uh -huh. and with uh, sheep or cows. Right. And every family has obviously dogs to protect uh, from wolves, and they also have a donkey, because the ear of the donkey is much better than the dogs. So mm -hmm. when the donkey starts to be nervous, the dogs realize oh, something is happening, the wolves, is, wolves are coming, so they start to bark. So they use as first level alarm a donkey. Wow. So yes. I need wow. to buy a donkey and a dog. Uh, yes. 
<laughs> in the middle of Vancouver. Say... <laughs> Many kind of animals. All and when my neighbors animals. complain, I'll say, David said, David said I need a donkey and a dog. I... <laughs> wow. No. I think but I'll it... put the knife. I'll take the I'm knife. I'm sure it will, it will work. It will work, sure. Do you want the best advice for you? Oh, I don't think we have time. We already have to get started. That's quick. Next. The words. Okay. You should, uh, live in an apartment. There is much safer an apartment. So in house, it's uh, kind of uh, it's not it's not so safe because uh, like um, lots of people are going around. But an apartment is much safer, from my experience. Mm. Thank you for your advice. I'll probably just stay right where I am, and um, <laughs> have to. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who, Sergio? Tell me what you did on Sunday. Tell me about your Sunday activities this weekend. The Sunday, I was in the in the beach with my friends. Yeah. What beach? Veracruz Beach in the place where I live. Beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. Did you go swimming? No. Only only we we was playing football and volleyball in the. In the sun. Very nice. Were you up close to Mocambo? Exactly. Do you know? <laughs> of course. Have you ever been in Veracruz? Remember, I lived in Cordoba. Oh yeah, yeah. So you, you know Mocambo and Las Americas. Exactly. <clears throat> okay, nice. okay, okay. Yeah. Sounds like a lovely way to spend your Sunday. I'm glad you enjoyed it. What about you, Victor? What did you do on your Sunday? Don't say <coughs> nothing. <laughs> uh, I, went, <laughs> I went for walking with my daughter. Wonderful. Where did you walk to? Uh, just uh, around my house. Mm -hmm. And did uh, you? Was it for exercise or was it to have a nice chat and relax? Uh, she was riding her bike, mm -hmm. I, and I was chasing her. <laughs> <laughs> so you got your exercise in. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Very nice. What about you, Michael? What did you do on Sunday? The last day of the week? Yeah, just yesterday. Well, I went to look some property. Some property to buy? Well, not to buy in that day, but to look if I want to buy. Okay. Like to, to ask questions, to look uh, at that property, to speak with the owner of that property and things like that. So real estate agents work on Sunday? They take you around? No, on that's, no there is no real estate. That's uh, the owner, like uh, who's uh, the house, is, like who's a partner house. I don't know how to name that. So um, who's the property is it? it is? So you could say, I went to look at for sale by owner properties. What? For sale by? For sale by owner properties. By why properties? Properties? Um, because or property, if it was only oh, one. But I thought you went one. to look at a few. No, 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 only one, and I stayed there much more than I expected to say. Okay, very good, David. What about your Sunday? What did you do? Okay, uh, I was sleeping because I went to bed on Saturday night too late. Mm -hmm. um, after that, I woke up. I said, "Oh my God, I ate." too much yesterday. Probably I don't need to eat in the rest of the week. <laughs> and I worked out and I watched soccer. The final the fi oh, final yeah, I forgot about that. Yes. Yes and Germany won, so I'm happy. You're happy that Germany won. I have Why no comment. <laughs> Why are you happy that Germany won? I won't to I want Germany to win the, the championship. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Spain, but I knew Spain was not going to win. Yeah, but so, Argentina, I think, is closer. Like that, uh, as uh, well, Spanish speakers. So. Um, yes, yes, you're right. But I <laughs> prefer Germany. I don't know why. I just read in the morning like uh, Germany won. That's what uh, I that are uh, 
getaways from the this Brazil championship might like what I know. Nothing else. Ali, what did you do on Sunday? Uh, I met uh, with my uh, one of my friends and uh, spent time with him and uh, my cousins uh, came from Istanbul. Uh, I met with them, spent time with them. Wonderful. That sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. Thank Very you. nice. Any questions before we get started on today's article? Any questions at all? What did you do on Sunday? Oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you. The same um, question for you. <laughs> well, I had a really lazy morning. And when I say lazy, I mean like it was embarrassing how lazy it was. I didn't do anything. I didn't even eat breakfast. I just woke up and I lazed around. Then around 12 o'clock, I made myself lunch. Then I went swimming in the pool and I swam one point something miles. I can't remember. I swam over a mile really fast, as fast as I could. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I came back to, to the house of my aunt and uncle, got dressed, and I went out with my friend who I haven't seen for a very long time. We went to a restaurant and then to the beach in the evening and then came home. Okay, thanks for sharing. Have you had, uh, like, uh, when you're swimming, I don't know how to name in English, but uh, when your your foot is, uh, like, you cannot move your foot. A your cramp. Feet cramp? cramp. Like, you cannot move and you cannot swim. No. Yeah. No? no, I've never had that. But you know what? I drink a lot of water. People who get cramps, it's usually because they're dehydrated. Oh, yeah? With mm -hmm. foot only cramps. Foot cramp, leg cramp, anything. Yeah, leg, uh, leg, foot cramp, I think. Yeah, it could be either or. So that was my Sunday. Let's go ahead and get started. What did you think of, Victor, when you saw today's topic, cocaine bananas? What did you think? Uh, I don't know. Cocaine with bananas. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't didn't um, make you think. Oh, that's a weird topic for a class. Uh, no, why not? <laughs> something that I saw in the news. Did anyone else have something come to mind when they saw it? Yeah, in Spain we had a problem maybe two years ago. You had a problem with drugs with cocaine. With bananas and cocaine, yes, the same. And I read, I read the article before, uh, not deeply. You know, I was only looking at the article, mm -hmm. and I said, "Oh, this this happened in Spain too, also." Interesting. So it's not the first time that um, cocaines and bananas have been mentioned together in the in the same article. Yes. <laughs> Good. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Cocaine in supermarket bananas. This is from July 4th, so we're a few days old, but we're going to go ahead and get started with our reading. Perhaps, let me just take a quick peek here. We can start with Victor. Do you want to read the first paragraph for us? Yes. In Portugal, around 200 bags of cocaine have been found in boxes of bananas on sale in supermarkets around the country. Police say they are hoping that their discovery will help them find those involved in bringing drugs from Colombia to Europe. Excellent. Any questions on the vocabulary for our first paragraph? What's cocaine? <laughs> 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 who, who asked I'm that? Joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Or banana. <laughs> oh, great. I can tell we're going to have a great day today. <laughs> we are on fire, yes. You guys are already causing all sorts of things. Um, okay, what is cocaine? Why don't you tell us, David? Okay, it's a very, very expensive and very, very bad drug that you shouldn't, not, you shouldn't uh, taste ever. 
<laughs> it's What's okay. it made of? What's it made of? Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's from a from a plant. Does anybody from... know what it's made of? Does anyone have more details on what cocaine actually mm, is? No. Nope. I think that it's a, a chemical process, but I don't know exactly. Yeah, it does come from a plant, but you're right. It's obviously gone through extreme chemical process, right? It's uh, a, a kind of plant, a name coca or something like that. Yeah. Okay, coca. Is it white, or how does it how does it turn white? I don't know. They do that in the lab, <laughs> some chemical process. Exactly. Right now, there's probably some junkies laughing at us watching this video. Going, what a <laughs> bunch of idiots. <laughs> 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 Who has um, heard about cocaine or drug problems in their country? Who has heard about cocaine or drug problems in their country or your city? What have you heard? I have. In fact, uh, the northwest of Spain is one of the most important uh, entry points of drugs from South America. Obviously, like that's right where Portugal is, right? Also, all Portugal also, yes. All the Atlantic uh, coast of Spain and Portugal. Wow. Do you guys even I know, even I know uh, people... Um, in, in Galicia, who has mm, uh, offered, no, received an offer to carry in their car, in their cars, uh, bags of cocaine uh, from one town to another town, uh, and a very well-paid job. A risky but, but well-paid job. Very risky, yes, but very risky. Absolutely, good job, you guys. Excellent. Any questions or comments about that or about what happens in your country? No. It's All right. not very common in my country. Only uh, some uh, uh, singers or famous person use cocaine and because it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very common. Uh, People use uh, weed or something like that. So yeah, we we would we would compare cocaine and marijuana very differently. One would be a hard drug like cocaine. One would be uh, not not like that, right? Yes. Good. Let's continue. Sir Sergio, could you read the next highlighted part of the article for us? Okay, Alison Roberts report from Lipsom. A shopper browsing in the fruit section of Portuguese supermarket has a bit of shock on discovering a packet of cocaine in among the bananas. Perfect, good reading. Bananas. Can you say that again? Bananas. Bananas. There you go. So, what happened? Um, Sergio, how did how was the cocaine discovered? Uh, in a packet of bananas. Yeah, exactly. So you can you imagine you're at the supermarket, you go to pick up a bundle of bananas, and there's a bag of cocaine. I'm not going to ask you what you would do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I sell it. Yeah, I'm not. I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at our word in bold print, browsing. Ali, what does it mean to browse? What does that mean, browsing? Browse, uh, maybe looking for something to buy or checking something. Yeah, if you're browsing, do you know exactly what you're looking for? No, just looking around, I think. Exactly. Just casually looking and maybe seeing what fruit's on sale or something like that. Where do you like to browse, Victor? Where do you like to browse when you go shopping? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> Everything. 
<laughs> so like a place, maybe things that interest you, but you're not really planning on buying anything. You just want to look and check it out. What kind of section would you browse through? Uh, maybe technical part of. <laughs> yeah, electronics we would call them. Yeah. Electronic department. Elise says mechanics. What about you, uh, Michael? Where would you um, like to browse? I just uh, thinking uh, instead of Victor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. He helped, he helped me. He's helping you, yeah. <laughs> but not mechanics, electronics. Not exactly electronics. Something uh, related yeah. to, to cars. Oh, okay. Maybe filters or something like that. Okay. So Tires. you're in... You're into that kind of stuff. Yeah, you're right. That is mechanics. Uh, the mechanics department. Some, some backyard uh, words. Okay. Cool. cool. What about you, Michael? Where do you like to browse? I don't like to browse. I like uh, if I need to buy something, then I browse about that thing that I want to buy. So you don't have any, you never go and just check things out for prices or to see what's new or what's out there? Mm, no, only what I need to buy, but if I don't need something, I don't go to to look, um, I don't know, well, what's clothes or something. No, no, no. Really clothes, I don't need. Cool. When I have a necessity. I think um, like it's natural, natural if you have a necessity, you go and you browse. Maybe Victor has this necessity like uh, or something, so at some level, but I don't have, like, I don't need. If I don't need, I don't go. If I need, I go. But uh, you are single, Michael. If you, uh, you go to uh, shopping with your wife, when uh, your wife is uh, shopping, you uh, have to browsing something, I think. Uh, spend uh, your time, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, if, yeah. You're, if you're with a girl, browsing is your worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's continue. Michael, can you read the next paragraph that starts with according? According to police, according to police, a total of 237 kilograms of cocaine parceled into 198 different bags has so far been discovered in boxes of bananas in supermarkets in various parts of northern Portugal. Excellent pronunciation, very okay. good reading. And do you know what's below the north of Portugal? No. Portugal? In Galicia, Galicia, where I live. Oh, really? <laughs> so probably this cocaine came from Galicia. Wow, interesting. From Spain, yes. We have to be careful with those Spaniards. Yes. <laughs> Good reading, Michael. Thank you. Any questions on the vocabulary for this paragraph? The bold one. Parceled. 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 Par Does anybody know what it means and would like to try to explain it? Yeah. Uh, if you uh, make something uh, little pieces or something like that, you parcel it. Maybe. Uh, wrap or cover uh, with something. It's another word too for packaged. Packaged. packaged yeah. Like a small package. Okay. Vic? Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Um, you live in a house now. Yeah. I can see the house and the other house. And each house is built on a parcel. A parcel of land. A yeah. parcel of land. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, like in Spanish. Okay. Yeah, in Turkish we use that for land. If you divide a land, uh, you parcel it. Okay, so it's like a portion. It can also mean portion. But if you got a box in the mail or if somebody gave you a gift, they might say there's a parcel for you, meaning like a portion of something or a package for you. So it just depends on the context. Good question, David. Thank you. Victor, what else comes in a parcel? What else besides uh, packets? Some electronic devices from China. They come in parcels. Very good. Excellent. Sometimes you can buy parcels of spices at the grocery store, little bags of spices, right? Can anyone else think of anything else? 
Parcels of cocaine. Parcels of cocaine. <laughs> Parcels of bananas. Banana, yeah. Good job. Really good work, you guys. It sounds like you understand it. So let's go to our next paragraph with David. They all? They all came from one pallet from a shipment of bananas from Colombia, from which the smugglers apparently forgot to remove the drugs when riding themselves of the fruit. Okay, ridding themselves. Rid ridding. Ridding themselves of. Anyone have any questions on the vocabulary here? So what happened? How did the drugs end up staying or arriving into the grocery stores? What is ridding? Ridding is to get rid of or remove from yourself. Okay, so the drugs when they're reading themselves of the fruit, so what is themselves here? Um, for example, if I rid myself of something, I it, it is with me now and then I remove it from myself. Uh -huh. so they removed it from themselves. The drugs they removed from themselves, the fruit. Okay. Okay. So if you said to me, Michael, if you said, Abby, I'm ridding myself from you, that means you get, you're get you getting rid of me. You want nothing to do with me anymore. Okay. You can use it with a person or you can use it with an item or something that you is undesirable or unnecessary for you, right? Okay, okay. So I'm ridding myself like uh, I get rid of that person, exactly. if I say. Exactly. Or that item or that thing or that idea. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, we'll practice using it when we go through our vocabulary list for sure. Anyone else? Have, what's a pallet? Hi, Vu. Welcome to the class. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Wonderful. Are you new in my class? Have I had you before? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. Slide. Awesome. Welcome back. It's good to have you. Yes, yes. Thank you for joining us. We're talking about cocaine bananas in Portugal. So, if you would like to, the, the document is also in the chat, okay? Okay, teacher. So, any questions? What's a pallet? A wooden um, thing on what you put uh, goods, like, uh, so when you transport them from uh, point A to point B, mm -hmm. uh, to be more, so how would you say, not comfortable, but more efficient or... It, um, so you can transport many at once, more efficient. Yeah, uh, you, uh, they are they are put on the on pallets, Perfect. and they're easily like removed from that car, and uh, you can store them in a warehouse. Exactly. Really good. Excellent description. Anybody else have any questions or comments? Okay. Uh, What's about smuggler, teacher? Smugglers. Good question, Vu. A smuggler. Hi. Victor, do you know what a smuggler is? I think it's kind of criminals. What do they do? Uh, they change bananas and cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> They're magicians. They're magicians, Victor. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Drug dealers. No, it could be. It's not just drug dealers. Smugglers is anybody who tries to transport goods without legal documentation or right. So maybe if I could be smuggled into another country, you could say, oh, they, they kidnapped Abby and they smuggled her into Colombia. They illegally, without consent, brought her to another country. And it's hidden, so they didn't see them t take me. Yeah. Okay. okay, or you can smuggle we don't know. drugs. We don't want that. No, neither do I. I'm just using it as an example. I didn't want to use you as an example. <laughs> Maybe I go and visit somebody and I decide to smuggle them back to Canada with me. I say, no, you're coming back with me. And I put them in my suitcase and I bring them <laughs> home. <laughs> That's a great... You have great it sounds great better, numbers. yes. It sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done that? Of course not. <laughs> what? 
smuggle the person? Yeah, air mask or something uh, when they are in suitcase. I'm not, I'm not nearly coordinated enough to be able to pull something like that off. Was it coordinated? Like, I'm good at doing many things at once and without getting caught. I always get caught. Okay. Ali, can you read the last paragraph for us? Okay. Uh, police in Portugal, Spain, and South America are now working together to trace those involved in the suspected smuggling ring. Beautiful. Any questions here on the vocabulary? For example, to trace. Does anyone know what that means? To find the path. Exactly. Nicely done. To find the path of something, where it went, to where it went. Any other questions or comments on this last paragraph? Smug smuggling a ring, like a group of person or ring? There you go, yep. A group of people that do it. So now we're okay. going to look at our vocabulary. Browsing. Let's go ahead and we're going to have Vu. Could you please read um, browsing and the definition? Browsing here, walking through a shop, looking at things. Can you get? Can you make a sentence for me? You can either type it if you'd like, or you can say it. A sentence using the word browsing. Uh, last, last one. I, I uh, browsed with my uh, brother. I browsed through. You can be more specific through the store with. In the, uh, in the supermarket. Okay. Do you I can't hear you. Oh yes, yes I like. Okay. Good. Yeah, I, uh, okay. Some, sometime uh, I don't have uh, much money as I need to proud to uh, to see uh, everything before buying. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you very much, Vu. Good work. Um, can I get you to mute your microphone, Vu, when you're not speaking? There's just a, a sound in it. Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you very much. Next, were any questions on browsing? Next word, Victor. Parcels. Divided and put into parcels. Equal objects wrapped in paper or plastic. Very good. So can you create a sentence or a question using the word parceled. Parceled. Uh, no, nothing comes in my head. Okay. Anybody else want to give it a shot? A question or a sentence using the word parceled? What kind of parcels do you find at a wedding? Parcel of what at a wedding? That's what I'm asking you. What kind <coughs> of parcels might you see at a wedding? In the tables. Mm. For example, the relatives, the the bride relatives, uh, the co-workers uh, table or uh, your friends uh, table. For example, very good. We call they, those. They are part of it. Exactly, and we also have party favors, which is when everybody gets the same tiny gift to take home with them from a wedding. That's party favors, and they are also parcelled. What about uh, gifts? At the end of a wedding, people okay. are given. Uh, this is Canadian American culture. I'm not sure about where you guys are from. But at the end of a wedding, everybody that has attended the wedding goes home with a very small gift. Maybe what it's I? like a candle or candies or a tea bags or something that usually usually it's something that is special to the bride or the groom, something that they really like. So if they love um, tea, they'll send everybody home with like a really nice tea bag or something special like that. Wow. Okay. Wow.
Yeah. Is that That's not fantastic? <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Uh, awesome. Especially, especially because after the wedding you don't know what you have to do with that. It's, you know, at the end you it go to the litter. Uh, it doesn't work for nothing. It's, it's completely useless. The the party favor? At, <laughs> at least in Spain, yes. <laughs> Maybe the bride and groom need to choose better party favors. Yes, in Spanish uh, we call them pongo, because we say, "Donde coño lo pongo in my house?" Oh, so you're just saying it's, you're not going to use it; it's useless. Okay, yes, absolutely. They but what if it's candy, useless. David? What if it's candy? Me, me. No, you eat the candy. <laughs> but for example, in Spain, uh, you receive a little uh, duck of porcelain. A little bag of what? Sorry. A little back, a duck, or a little um, uh, couple, uh, the bride and the and the boy, uh, a little little gifts, uh, completely useless. You 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 don't you don't know what what you could do with that. So mm -hmm. maybe in in your table, in your living room table, in the middle of the. <laughs> And stay forever there. That's true. Sometimes it's just not something you're going to use. But usually in Canada, it's a it's a gift that's usable, like um, either something you eat, or like a candle or something very small. But what uh, types of gifts uh, brings like um, the people who are attending the wedding, like uh, usually money or gifts? Money or gifts. It depends on. Um, it what would depends. be more common? Money. Money, not gifts. In yeah. my country, money and gold. Money and gold. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's. Yeah, that sounds like a great, um, great <laughs> gift. How, how many grams of gold should you bring? Uh, it Enough. depends. It depends to you if you are uh, some someone. Uh, um, marry your close friend or your close relative. Uh, you buy something expensive. If not, you buy a little gold. Interesting. <laughs> okay, let's well, move on. Let's move on. Um, the next word, Michael, could you read it? And the definition, shipment. Shipment. Large amount of goods carried on a ship, plane, train, truck, or truck. Can you give me an example of a question or a sentence using shipment? Um, the most common. Okay, I will give an example, but uh, please correct my grammar. So uh, the most common way to. Um, of shipment of goods shipment um, across the ocean. Can I say like that? Mm -hmm. So across the ocean is uh, by uh, um, by by by. Um, Abby, what was that? Like big vessels, and uh, you put like containers, container cargo, vessel. Cargo. Or yeah, cargo vessel, cargo vessel. Cargo, ve but not container vessel. Like no, there's like really. boxes, big boxes. Yeah, th we would call that a cargo ship because it carries it carries um, items or supplies. Okay. And the most common via via road? Oh no, was that uh, like a road? But in general. Oh my goodness! I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah. Are we talking about across the water or the road? Uh, we spoke about the water. Okay. Now, like it's a continuation of, it's a follow-up of uh, that uh, sentence, like to. Uh, the most so now, well, let's start with the first part because you want me to correct you, right? So the okay, most common okay. shipment that comes across the water in a container vessel is. No, that uh, the, uh, is container vessel. The most common um, way of shipment is uh, via container vessel. Okay. What I meant. Like the most we have uh, by type of. Shipment that comes across the water is a container vessel. 
or like I said a cargo vessel. And the most common type of shipment that comes across the, the what the land or the road or what like that in general? Come on land. That come on land is a truck. A semi truck. Semi truck. Semi truck. Okay. Thank you. Whew. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay. What did I cover? Uh, like land and the water. There is. Land and what? No, there is no more. Well, there's also air, right? You can also ship by air. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Have yeah. you? Has anybody in the class ha ma ha made a shipment or received a shipment, sent a shipment recently? Yes, I do. Tell us about it. Uh, well, in, in fact, in my company, we re receive shipments almost every day because we are mm, shopping in Amazon, Deal Extreme, or some, these kind of websites almost every day mm -hmm. so every we receive every day uh, a package uh, you know mm, clothes uh, some uh, uh, something for for your house for decoration or uh, electronics we receive almost every day uh, one or more shipments Good example. Thank you very much, David. Vu, what about you? What gets shipped into your country? What is something that your your country either gets shipped to them or they ship to other people? Oh, <laughs> sorry, teacher. I don't understand your question. What shipments go in or out of your country? Um. I uh, I don't know the the tie of my shipment. Um, maybe maybe is is a way we uh, way you ship uh, plan to uh, to transfer the wood. Okay. What what's your country again, Vu? Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay, so do they send fruits or vegetables, or do they receive fruits or vegetables from other people? Oh, can can you repeat? Do you receive vegetables or fruits from other countries? Mm, yes. Okay, yes. so you say we receive shipments of peaches, bananas, pineapples. Okay. Oh, okay, teacher. <laughs> we receive shipments of, and then you can say whatever it is. Very good. Thank you. But Abby, what is more common to say? We receive shipments of, or would you say, we import bananas, apple. We export bananas, apple. It depends who you're talking to. If you're talking to the shipment company, you'd say we receive shipments of. If you're just generally speaking, you could say we import export. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Next word. David, could you please read the next one for us? Reading themselves off. Throw away things you no longer need. Very good. So give me an example, David, of something that you have read okay. yourself up. Yes. Uh, I'm reading myself of a lot of things now because my girl came to live with me. So my house was a disaster. <laughs> and I tried to put order in my house and reading myself of things that I don't need or I don't use. You're making room for your girlfriend's things. Yes. Yes. What a, what a nice person you are. Mm -hmm. I try. Does your girlfriend ever tell you to get rid of things? Excuse me? Does your girlfriend ever say, David, you should get rid of this? Uh, um, I'm not completely sure. <laughs> what does she ever say to you, David, maybe, this is, I don't like maybe, this, David, get rid of it. Let's get rid of no, it. No, no, not directly, but uh, sometimes uh, I, look, uh, I, I look at her eyes and I know 
I have to be there. <laughs> You're a very wise man, David. You are wise beyond your years. <laughs> no. no. Don't ever get rid of her. She sounds like a keeper. No, it's my treasure. It's my little treasure. <laughs> Excellent. Does anyone else want to give me an example of something that you've read yourself of? I can't read myself of old furniture. Why not? It's staying in my backyard. <laughs> I have no, trans <laughs> no transport for it myself of it. So you want to get rid of it, but you can't? Yes, I want, but I can't. You should put it on the street with a sign that says free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank, thanks for advice. <laughs> you, need, you, you need a pallet, maybe. Yeah, you might need a pallet. Victor, <laughs> excellent example. Yeah, getting rid of old furniture, right? Anyone else? Maybe old clothes. Old clothes. Should you yeah. rid yourself of some old clothes, Ali? Is it time to clean out the closet? Sometimes. <laughs> so we should go and help you get rid of things that are old or don't don't look good anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. What about you, um, Michael? Tell us something that you should get rid of. Mm, I uh, usually get rid of. Uh, old clothes that they are worn yeah worn out yeah worn out yeah worn out and um, of something broken maybe uh, some uh, piece of electronics that is outdated old fashioned maybe or uh, something broken definitely not okay. nothing now nowadays they don't have what I so like consistently I get rid of like clothes and some piece of electrons. Okay, but very good. On a regular basis you go Yeah, on a reg regular basis, but not like uh, this week I didn't throw I didn't throw anything. Okay. Anyone else want to share? Our last word is for Can I say I I read uh, myself, yeah, myself? Yeah. Of bad memories, for example. Yeah, you can. You get rid of them. You don't think about them anymore. Like that is metaphorical, yeah? Speaking yeah. Like not okay. Um, Ali, can you read the last one for us? Smuggling ring. Mm -hmm. Group of people involved in smuggling. The activity of illegally taking things in and out of a country. Very good. Can you give me an example of a sentence using smuggling ring? Yes. Uh, uh, I want to move to uh, Canada, but uh, I can't get a visa. I need a smuggling ring. <laughs> okay. So you're going to, or you need a smuggling ring to help you. Is that what you mean? You need a smuggling ring to be able to get you to Canada or you want to join a smuggling ring? No, I don't want to join a smuggling ring, but uh, just uh, they take me to <laughs> Canada uh, oh. uh, 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 illegally, maybe uh, uh, on, uh, on the, we walk on the mountains or, or something like that, oh, uh, on the uh, border. we. Uh, pass uh, from the border uh, secretly or fighting. Do you think, do you know of smuggling rings that do that, that help people to go across borders? Yeah, uh, it's very common uh, in my country. Or some people uh, want to go to Europe, uh, they just uh, walking uh, from uh, mountains, uh, mm -hmm. mountain region, and uh, across the border, and uh, they go to another country sometimes. Very nice, excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Anyone else have a have a comment about smuggling ring or that they like to mention? Perfect. Well, you guys did an awesome job in today's class.
really good work. We talked about cocaine bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions or comments before we close? So what happened with uh, na those uh, smugglers? The smugglers, they... well, they're investigating it. Remember they said Portugal, oh. Spain, and Europe, they're all kind of banding together to try and find the smuggly ring. Oh, okay. That's why I, I didn't remember, like, about what happened with that. Okay. Good work, you guys. Awesome job in today's class. Thank you for coming.